Hey guys, it's Drew here, and I wanted to do a little book review on Permaculture, a designer's manual by Bill Mollison. So this is a very renowned, renowned book um, in the world of permaculture. Bill Mollison was one of the founders, and this book right here is, it's exactly what it's titled as a permaculture manual, a designer's manual. This book is extremely dense. There's so much information here that I actually, which I'll link down below, a uh, course you can take through Udemy. So it's an online learning platform where you can take a course that Bill Mollison himself, as well as um, Joffrey Lawton, uh, they have a video series where they do lectures and kind of break it down chapter by chapter, which was super beneficial for me as I am a visual learner and I love reading, but this book is dense with so much vital information that you don't want to just skip over and not really take in. So that was super beneficial for me. So I'll make sure I'll link that down below if anybody's interested. Um, you know, uh, and I'll actually, I'll end up taking that course again. Um, there's so many permaculture courses online, but this one is from Tagari Publications, which is the, uh, who public, publicizes this book. Um, so you know you're getting the real deal. And it's, you know, video of Bill himself. Bill has since passed, but uh, permaculture and his legacy continues through this book and through the many, many people that are practicing permaculture. Um, when I first learned about permaculture, I was so excited because it just kind of clicked all the boxes for me um, for exactly what I was kind of interested in and what I was wanting to learn about. So um, I wrote down some notes that I wanted to read just uh, what this book covers, if you're interested. So, Permaculture, a Designer's Manual. It covers principles, strategies, and techniques for designing sustainable human settlements. The manual uh, emphasizes the importance of observing natural patterns and ecosystems, uh, utilizing renewable resources, and designing systems that mimic nature's resilience and efficiency. Uh, it covers topics such as site analysis, water management, soil building, plant selection, and integral animal systems. Overall, it provides a holistic approach to designing regenerative systems that benefit both people and the environment. This book provides a wealth of information from design principles, ecosystems, water management, soil health and food production food production overall this book is an excellent reference for anyone looking to create regenerative and resilient systems so this book has inspired so many people that have uh, wrote written books about permaculture and now there's quite a lot but it wasn't until only you know in recent years that people have like started to seemingly start trending permaculture and so there's been a lot of information there's lots of YouTube channels um, Geoff Lawton has his his own website his own um, school you know discovery permaculture and uh, I've watched a lot of the information there I really hope to actually take a PDC a permaculture uh, designers uh, course um, here in Florida they have them every so one or every once in a while that they pop up um, but being limited in my means of travel is uh, a little difficult to get to like South Florida where there's a lot of the uh, PDCs that are going on but yeah this book is such a, a blessing to have because like like I said it, there's so much information and um, it goes into depth on, like, permaculture is synonymous with uh, 
I think for a lot of people, swales and the use of swales on contour and uh, in designing, you know, homesteads and designing, uh, you know, the, the whole home to home uh, farm um, areas. And I don't want to, I don't want to give out any from any information that isn't 100% correct. Um, and that's just my opinion. I just want to give a brief overview of what you'll find in the book and let you do the exploring yourself because once you start researching permaculture it leads you down I guess you could say a rabbit hole of so many wonderful things that people are doing right now and systems of growing uh, one thing that I really loved in this book is where Bill talks about uh, aquaculture and for me I have a background in my uh, father is a clam farmer and getting to be involved um, you see the production side of you know food and how aquaculture has a huge role in that and how it seems like a lot of people that are super interested in permaculture um, aren't talking about the aquaculture side as much uh, due to most people that are interested in permaculture are interested in designing their own homesteads and farms um, so mostly land based but there's lots of uh, talk about waterworks and the use of ponds and to me that's super exciting just this whole idea of pond culture and aquaponics and aquaculture I just really think that that is a huge solution to so many of our world's problems is being able to grow food in uh, the abundance of water that we have and in a way that's regenerative to our oceans, lakes, ponds, rivers. You know, there's a way of doing this that makes a lot of sense and actually benefits the environment as well as us. And, um, you know, that's just something that I'm super excited about right now and that I'm doing a lot of research about. But yeah, Permaculture, A Designer's Manual by Bill Mollison. I highly recommend giving it a read and to uh, just getting started, getting involved in this movement of permaculture. It's just super exciting. And uh, I hope that anybody that's interested will visit the links that I link in my description of this video. I'll link to where you can buy the book yourself. I'll link to um, Udemy where you can actually take the course uh, from the publications, Tagari publications, um, as well as I'll go ahead and link uh, Geoff Lawton's uh, websites, so Discovery Permaculture and uh, Zaytuna Farms, where he actually um, hosts uh, PDCs every once in a while, but that's in Australia. So yeah, I hope that was a nice quick little overview review of Permaculture, a designer's manual. Um, I'll probably be doing lots of videos featuring things that I'm implementing that I learned from this book and how I'm implementing it. So that'll be exciting to look forward to. I, uh, I hope you guys are having a good one and peace.